Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today it's another look at some of my favourite craft I've been sent for my mailbag streams recently. Uh, in the background you can see a recreation of one of my favourite recent fights and that is between the, uh, the VE-23F Horrid Abomination by Vist and that is going up against Acteon's Cloud9. That is Acteon's attempt to turn George Harrison's iconic 1987 album into a deadly unmanned fighter. Going forward, uh, I'm hoping to sort of get these onto a more regular scheduled track so that it's like once every three months to coincide sort of with the seasons roughly. Um, meteorological, not astronomical, in case any of you were wondering or for some bizarre reason even cared. Um, so hopefully I'll stick to that. But uh, here's some highlights from the most recent batch. So a bit of a creeping theme I've noticed recently is increased use of the uh, of the howitzer as an air-to-air -air weapon. And surprisingly effective, I did a video on this a while ago, and yeah, turns out quite powerful, surprisingly, in air-to-air -air combat. This is the T Industries T Dart Lambda Earl Grey by Need More T. Bit of a theme there in and of itself, and it is the latest incarnation of the T Dart, which has been it does quite well in the um in the mailbag matchups. And on the other side, we have the PK-1 Nappa 2 by Tiger Tail. I don't know why the Cajun line cockpit texture is bugged. It, I, I, <laughs> any suggestions, anybody thinks they know the answer, please, uh, please let me know in the comments. But this is another one which is, yeah, it goes a bit hard on weaponry and it, just in general. It has two Gow 8s and uh, two howitzers slung under the wings, uh, as well as the eight sidewinders, but that's sort of more an afterthought by this point. And uh, I just wanted to uh, match these two up, get them into a dogfight and see... Uh, See who wins the Battle of the Howitzers. Let's get them going. Our first competition starts. The Nappa is around very quickly. I'm going to turn on Dogfight Cam, and my apologies if this is difficult to follow because this is the brand new version of a uh, brand new version of uh, Camera Tools, and <laughs> there's a lot of more. There's, there's a few more settings, and I'm not entirely sure how to get it back to the way I had it. But this is nice, I suppose. Um, so we'll, we'll try it out like this. We'll try a couple of dogfights out like this, and if you absolutely hate it, then please let me know, um, and we'll uh, we'll have to find a way to uh, to get back to the other uh, other way. Other way, or I could just turn off dogfight cam and do it by mouse. Oh my god, one of the T darts has taken a heavy hit. Steep Kerman is this is the most boring view ever. Let's go to one of the T darts. Right, what are you doing? Oh, nice little transition because the camera has um, the camera has inertia now. Okay, now it seems to be actually following the targets that the uh, the craft is locked onto, which is more sort of what I was after. Yeah, the Nappers seem to be mostly bogged down in avoiding missiles. Adam and Jebediah come and plenty of opportunity. Oh, return volley coming in. But the T-Dart's getting plenty of opportunity to get missiles away, though. Here we come into, uh, into gun range, though, and it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, if they can really get any of those... Um, howitzers out of the way to and use them to good effect. Something, something's just, yeah. One of the T-Darts has gone. I suspect that was a howitzer kill. Just from the, uh, just how from in, how instantaneous it was. Oh my god, what is happening? Yeah, I'm going to have to, I might have to get on to the devs about. <laughs> ask them what settings I should be using for this. Oh, and it's the last, it's the last remaining T-Dart and it just gets wrecked. And <laughs> one of the is that one of the nappers just decapitated in some friendly fire? <laughs> uh, no, I think they're all flying. They all seem to be flying relatively well. Okay. So, um, yeah. Two howitzers better than... I'm going to turn this off. Two howitzers better than one. Um, <laughs> and the game with all the textures working, even better. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. Some drone action now, because one of the craft I've received recently is the ASCU-13 heavy, heavy Drone Giga Chad by Andrew Lee. And this thing, this thing just tore up the competition. This thing was really special. I mean, it even put paid to one of uh, Legged Lack's um, best drones. Uh, Legged Lack, one of my subscribers, like uber drone designer and general fighter craft as well. But yeah, that was a shock. That was a shock and a surprise. But this thing hasn't felt the wrath of my vortex. That's that's not a euphemism. This this is my own attempt 
at a um, <laughs> at an ASCU drone, and um, yeah, I would have put it up against something better, but this is pretty much shredded everything else. So <laughs> I thought, why not? Let's just let's just have some fun watching this thing um, watch this thing shredding one of my own miserable attempts at a craft. Let's um, let's get this going. Let the massacre begin. Both sets of craft should be around very quickly. A little bit of instability in this thing. I haven't I haven't tuned this thing for ages. The tuning is probably well out of date. Let's switch to the uh, to the dogfight cam. Uh, are we going to concentrate on the opposing target like it should do given the uh, given the settings? Oh, a feral volley away uh, coming from the vortex there. Let's see how long we can prolong its agony. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen when this gets... Well, I, I know exactly what's going to happen when this thing gets up close and personal. It's not going to survive, but uh, doing quite well for the moment. How are we doing? Five kilometres, we've closed about half the distance. Uh, the vortex popping countermeasures now as uh, as missiles come back the other way. Still trying to get away a few of its own. Yep, what are we doing? Uh, three, three and a half kilometres. One of them about two kilometres. Here's where the fun begins. Gunfire should start coming in. This one's still trying to loose the sidewinder. Close range sidewinder. Doesn't look like anything's going to come of that. Another one. I think that's the last. No. Last two missiles away from this one. Comes to no avail. Trying to get gun in, gunfire into that, um, into that Giga Chad. Nothing comes of it. Tries to get around quickly. <laughs> this is the problem when you put them on these like high power drone fights I'm just going to go back to the normal camera and just do it manually because that's the problem when you sort of get into these high power drone fights um, <laughs> it just turns quicker than the current incarnation of the camera tools uh, can manage there's probably a setting I can do to uh, to change that but um, don't really have time right at the moment okay the vortex trying hard to lose this giga chad that's on its tail but here comes oh god there's already gunfire raining in onto this thing and the sounds of explosions and I think I can guess who's exploding who. Doing a good job of evading so far though. There comes the gunfire. There we go. Any of the other, these other ones actually still surviving. This one not doing badly. In that it's still alive. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be any... Oh, this one's, this one's out. One of them's gone. Well, I'm going to count that as some kind of victory. Missiles away from this one. I think that one of my vortices has, vortexes has run out of uh, run out of uh, countermeasures, and they're all gone. One of them's had its engine taken off, so I think that technically counts as a kill. <laughs> well, I'm certainly counting it as a kill. Let's um, let's move on to something which. Hopefully, should be a slightly better matchup. Having mentioned Naked Luck earlier, I think it's only fair we uh, we see one of his craft, particularly when it's <laughs> quite this deadly. Uh, Legged Luck sent me two craft. Uh, one of them, the Panther, as it should be, and the Spike Tail, as it should be. His own, his own take on two of my own craft, and this one, the Spike Tail, is this one is just ridiculously deadly. And speaking of ridiculously deadly craft, we also got this, the MM12A Mock, uh, Mock Remastered. Uh, by Tiger Tail, and this this just proved to be surprisingly efficient at uh, just dispatching other craft. So I thought it'd be good to uh, to put these two together and see which uh, which is the deadlier. Let's get it going. Into the fight one final time. Oh my god, the turn rate on this thing, <laughs> and the mocks are much the same. Um, yeah. The, uh, both of these can sort of almost gyro ball the mock, I assume. Yeah, that's managed to get away, away around pretty quickly. I think we'll uh, we'll give uh, Dogfight Cam one more go on this. Uh, doesn't really work so well when the uh, when the craft is pumping chap out, but hey ho, I'm sure we'll sure we'll cope. Closing the distance very quickly. Ghosty Kerman trying to line up a shot with the sidewinders doesn't quite manage it. Um, it looks like the. Uh, the, uh, the spike tails are keeping the mocks on the back foot, but yeah, the, both these craft very manoeuvrable. Should be able to turn it around pretty quickly if needs be. Have to see what happens when we get into gun range, though. Oh, that's a close range sidewinder, and the spike tail is trying to follow it in with some uh, with some gunfire. But I think the mock, yeah, almost manages to get. Oh, 
almost managed to get the old switcheroo, turn it into a joust. Oh, so close, so close, but I think that's going to be a hit on the mock. Didn't do any fatal damage, though. Is a little unbalanced with the missiles now. Might get a chance for some revenge. Um, oh, my God. One of the mocks is gone already. One of the mocks is gone already. I think, yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to overcome the, uh, the numerical advantage, the mocks. Uh, let's have a look at one of the... Um, oh, we're going for the close range sidewinder. Going for the close range sidewinder. Oh, that mock is in a lot of trouble. Both of these craft just twisting and turning, showing off their super maneuverability. Oh my god, that is one of the spike tails taking a heavy hit. I don't think it was enough though. I don't think it was enough. We're down to the one last mark. It's good. It's really good. But I'm not sure it was quite good enough. More gunfire. I, just, I just don't think... It's still got everything it needs. Oh no. I was about to say, <laughs> hasn't suffered the loss of any major parts, um, any vital parts yet, but now it has. This, uh, how many spike tails do? Let's let's turn off this dogfight cam. I'm <laughs> I'll have a play out with the settings, try and get that a bit better for the next video. This one's taking some heavy damage. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, so the spike tail. Yeah, it's king of the skies for the moment. Uh, that will be all for the uh, for today, though. I do hope you enjoyed it. A uh, bit pressed for time at the moment. Uh, so many craft. I, I sort of made a note of all the craft I would ideally like to feature in this. I can make another one of these videos. Uh, I'm still not quite getting them all in, but um, as I said, pressed for time. Hopefully, something a bit more comprehensive next time. But uh, yeah. As I said, if you have enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, telling me how to get, <laughs> how to set up the ladies' version of camera tools correctly, how to work out what's going on with that textureless cockpit, um, or anything else besides. Um, yeah, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter if you like. Maybe get involved with the Discord, Great PD Army and KSP community on there, and more besides. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon, if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your under patron Kerbal, like Rengence Kerman here. Not not Bill Kerman though. He just he's just one of the standard girls. Um, yes. Uh, as well as name the end of the end of the regular videos, access to the Patreon only Discord, uh, access to everything I upload to Patreon, that kind of thing. Those last two bit of work in progress though. Um, yeah, and all your very, very kind donations go towards helping me make this channel bigger and better. I will be back soon with some more BD Armory. Until then, though, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.